OSHA would never fine me for using the wrong vacuum. It's just a vacuum. The fact is, OSHA and NFPA don't just recommend how you should clean. They also dictate what kind of vacuum you should use. Selecting the right vacuum is very important to keep your facility safe and compliant. But it can be very confusing to choose the right one for your environment or application. That's why Nilfisk created this helpful decision tree. If your environment is classified hazardous, your choice is clear. You must select vacuums that are certified for that environment. Class 1, Class 2 or Class 3, Division 1 or 2, and Groups A through G. This certification is provided by a third-party, nationally recognized testing laboratory, NRTL. The NRTL will confirm that the vacuum complies with the appropriate standards. You can confirm NRTL certification by looking at the information stamped on the vacuum's nameplate. If your environment is not classified hazardous, then you must next determine if your dust is combustible. If your dust is not combustible and you have the documentation to prove it, you can select any vacuum you like that meets your cleaning needs. You may have a scenario where combustible dust is present, but the area is not classified hazardous. This is actually rather common. It could be an area where dangerous dust conditions are only present on occasion, when there is an equipment malfunction or operator error. In this situation, you should make a selection based on the requirements laid out in your dust hazard analysis. You could select a vacuum that is certified for Class 1 or 2, Division 1. That is the highest level of certification, so you know you'll be covered. This is the safest option. You could also select Class 2, Division 2 equipment. This complies with NFPA 652 requirements. And finally, because the environment is not classified, you could select vacuums that are not NRTL certified, but are NFPA compliant. This means the vacuum is modified or specifically designed to meet NFPA's vacuum design requirements, laid out in Section 8.4.2.2. Get all the facts you need so that you can make the safe choice. Visit www.comdust-myths.com to download a complete combustible dust myth-busting guide.